Hello and welcome. How's it going? Today's topic is subroutines in shaders. Now I know what you're saying. Wait a second. This fragment shader that we have here for lighting already has a function. Isn't a function the same as a subroutine? Well, not quite. The benefit of a subroutine is a subroutine is a function where you can set a function pointer to that function. That's right, shaders have function pointers. The fact is, shaders are really bad at making decisions. If I have an if statement, the shader will compile code, which essentially evaluates both branches and then selects from one or the other. Now, this, this isn't so good if my function call that I'm doing has some computation. I'm essentially doing double my computation. Let's say, for instance, the example I'm going to look at today is lighting. I'm going to have two cubes and one cube I want to have diffuse and specular lighting and the other cube I want to just have diffuse lighting. I could make an if statement inside my main shader code to choose one lighting function or the other. Or what I could do is ahead of time I could pass in a function pointer to the appropriate subroutine and this kind of reduces my computational load. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's actually get started on this. First things first, we're going to need to go to our scene. I'm just going to set this up so I have two cubes. So I'll have cube and then cube two. Uh, I can even... Okay, cool. Then I'll keep the same Eulers and just change the position. There we go. That's good. And I don't know why I'm including this. This is a, <laughs> you know what I mean? This is a um, GLSL lesson, not a C++ lesson, but why not? This is fun watching this, isn't it? Um, okay, and then we'll update both the cubes. This makes sure that the model transforms are set correctly. And um, then we'll go to the engine. And then I'm just going to rearrange this a little bit. This use shader should be up the top before we do anything. Okay, and now I'm going to be, because I'll have several model transforms. Pull this down here. Okay, so we're using the wood texture and the cube model, and we'll just set in different model transforms based on cube one or cube two. And now this should be drawing them at the two different positions. Okay, so there we have two cubes. And if we look here, they have both got specular reflections on them. Now I'm going to change the this cube here so it doesn't have specular reflections. Okay, cool. So we'll go to the fragment shader now. Here we have a definition of our function. Now I'm just going to pop in here and I'm going to say, okay, we're going to declare a subroutine. There we have it there. So this part here is a general sort of, it's a function pointer basically. So it's saying expect to have some sort of function which returns a vec3, takes in an int i. And expect that we're going to have one of these declared as a uniform and the type of it is this one here. And the name of the uniform will be shading mode. Okay, so now I'll just declare my two functions. This will be the full lighting, and this will be the rough lighting. And then the definitions for these will go down below. So that's my full function. And then down below, I'll have my rough function. And my rough function will not do any specular reflection stuff, so we won't need those direction vectors and we won't need this calculation here. Okay, now the other thing I need to do is I need to declare that these two functions 
will be involved uh, the types of subroutines that I can call there so I'll say I'll tie this to the lighting function subroutine and I'll do the same for the other one great and then up here I will call the uniform shading mode so before we call the shader, we select which um, routine we want to run for the lighting and that is passed in and this avoids doing an if else statement and this kind of keeps our overhead low. Okay, great. So now I'm going to need to get the locations of these two subroutines. So I'll just, I'll go to my um, header file where I declared the light location and I'm going to make another one, another structure. And just like shader locations, these will be unsigned integers. There we go. Cool. Okay, so now in the initializer, I will need to grab the locations of those subroutines. So up here, I've done, oh, not there. Create material, oh, for some reason it wasn't scrolling up. Okay, so here we are just under the, where we populated the light data and we'll go, okay. So we'll, we'll fill in the full function and that is gl get subroutine index. And here we pass in the program, that's our shader, the shader type, which is the fragment shader, and the name. And the name is then we'll do the same thing for the rough subroutine. Rough in the sense that it's um, not reflective. Okay. So now all we need to do is before we render the cubes, we need to select which subroutine we're going to use. So for the first cube, that will be the rough function. So we go um, GL uniform subroutines, unsigned integer value. Okay, so the shader, ah, oh, it's shader type, sorry. We're sending in one and we'll send in a pointer to um, the lighting function rough. And then we'll do the same thing, but we'll have full specular lighting on the uh, cube two. Okay, so fingers crossed. And there we have it. So as we can see, the cube in front of us just has diffuse lighting and the cube behind us has those um, white highlights from the specular reflection. So I don't know, I hope you can, hope you can appreciate the power of subroutines in GLSL. I think they're very cool and um, yeah. So this could be an approach that you could use if you don't, if you have different objects, like you have lights and cubes and things, and you want the lights to have their own color. So essentially have a different um, rendering routine. This could be a different approach that you could use as opposed to having two shaders. But um, as with all things, it's a bit of a balancing act. You'll have to work out which blend works best for you. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this lesson. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.